In this video, I'm going to review an advanced method that you can use to station your total station and check your control points. And this one I'll call how you can station in order of confidence and observe your delta horizontal distance. So let's begin. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm on the project that I want to work with and that I have the correct drawing or job that I need to work on. I'm going to go ahead and go into stationing and I'm going to use my manual stationing so I can basically have complete control over how I want to station my job. So now the question is, which of these control points do I want to start with? And if you remember, I mentioned that you should start with the control points that, you're, that you are most confident in. And for me, I do know that control point 2, control point 1, and control point 4 are accurate. I've done all the checks to verify that those ones are accurate, and I'm curious which one of these, if at all, are inaccurate as well. And so before I check them, I'm going to station on 1, 2, and 4. And after I station on those, then I'll move to point 5 and point 3 to see how the deviations change. I'm going to start by measuring control point 4. I'll make a measurement. And you can see at the bottom of the screen that is telling me that I have one point measured. So now we'll go ahead and measure point 1. After measuring point 1, you can see that I have two points measured, and so far my delta horizontal distance, which is what I'm observing, is remaining at zero, and my stationing seems to be pretty good. And what this is showing me is that, so far, the distance between these points are accurate horizontally. So now I'll go on to point 2, and so far my delta horizontal distance has not changed, so I'm still feeling good and, and confident in my stationing so far. But now I need to check number five and number three. And I'm gonna still go in order of confidence. I think number five is more accurate than number three, so let me go ahead and go over to number five. I will measure it. So obviously number five added a little bit of a delta horizontal distance. Am I concerned about a 16th? Maybe, maybe not. But let me measure point three first, and then I'll go to the next screen to see more information. When I measure point 0.3, my delta horizontal distance went significantly higher. Even though my station's still around a quarter of an inch in accuracy of stationing, my delta horizontal distance went significantly higher. So immediately my reaction is going to be that my point number 3 is probably the point that's off. But let me go ahead and go to the next screen to check some more information. When I'm using all five of my points in this scenario, obviously I'm seeing a lot of deviations here. The tool's trying to find a best fit amongst all the points. But I know that because I went in order of confidence, that point three and point five are most likely pulling all these other points in the analysis that the total station is trying to do to find its best fit. So let me go ahead and remove point three, which I think is off because it ruined my delta HD quite a bit. And immediately my numbers get better. And I'm seeing these deviations here by a 16th. I'm not super upset about that, but I do remember that 0.5 I was a little bit unsure about and that that increased my delta HD a little bit. So let me go ahead and remove 0.5 and of course I'm back now to zeros. Now what's nice about this is I can look here and say okay if I was confident on these three control points I can now look at 0.5 and I can see exactly how much it's off from the plan relating back to these three control points. How the total station if it's going to use the 0.5 with this accurate stationing that 0.5 needs to move plan north negative 1 16th of an inch and plan east negative 3 16th of an inch. That's how much it's moved and that's how much it's off. So if I'm okay to accept that and I need a part of my stationing, I obviously can click it in there. But it will pull these numbers a little bit and will slightly change the location of the total station. But clearly in this situation, I know that point 3 is completely off by about 3 inches on the north going it's negative, so three inches south, and negative east, negative four inches. So that one's completely off and obviously inaccurate, and I didn't need to do some observations as to why that's happening. Now let me go ahead and observe these numbers down here that might help you as well. In this section, you see two important pieces of information. Number one, it's going to tell you how confident it is in the stationing that it determined up here. So if I add points, it's essentially saying that yes, it's determined a stationing with some sort of error, but it's even telling you how confident it is and how it located itself in this manner. 
and the lower this is the better. And now down here you see the horizontal angle error and it's described in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And the lower this is the better and it's just describing that according to the points you made what's the potential error that the layout points are going to be rotated to what the plan is actually asking for. So if you notice that I have three good control points selected here that I want to use my angular error is only one second of an angle which is incredibly good meaning that when I lay out the points the tool is very confident I'm going to be laying them out in the exact same angular position that the plan is asking for. As I add points that angle is going to become increasingly worse and the tool is simply warning me that my plan could rotate from the location of my control points by a certain angle and in this case 5 minutes and 57 seconds of an angle.